Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong. Today I'm going to share with you how you can actually log in your webmail or something you heard about, um, you know, IMAP, SMTP, something about your own professional email, log in in your mobile phone as well as in your PC rather than go to the webmail which is only can um, log in through browser, right? So let me show you how to do it and let's go. Well, as what I mentioned just now, you have your webmail and you try to log in using your mobile phone and your laptop and I'm talking about using an apps or an email client like Microsoft Outlook. So how to achieve that? Okay, um, of course, first of all, you need to go back to your webmail. Okay, for example, I go to my webmail and I'm trying to log in. Now, this is a demo account in a way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I'm going to delete this after the demo. Let me open that up. Okay, the reason you need to go in here is simply because um you need to find. By the way, let me close this up. Okay, you need to find um some information that you want to configure in your devices. Okay, so you try to scroll down. Okay, I presuming we have your webmail something like this. Okay, so what you can do here is you scroll down until you see this guy. Okay, it's called configure mail client. So this is actually for you, you know, providing some information for you to set up your email account on any device. So let's click it first. And okay, don't worry if you see a lot of stuff. Okay, but usually I would super recommend um, go for SSL and TLS settings. Of course, you can, you know, is second in under certain circumstances you might want to use a non SSL then only you click on it but I will stick with this okay so for now let's keep this information with you okay now the first thing let me show you in your Gmail first so what I do here is let me minimize this guy I'm going to minimize this guy until you see not here sorry about that now you see how I do <laughs> okay let me show you my phone okay my phone is here okay um yeah this is my real phone by the way so um what you need to do is i would suggest you log into your gmail okay just go to your gmail and let's say you already log in your, your gmail account for example i log in this my so you just click on your icon and you just add another account and from here okay you will need to choose others okay not sure you can see me or not okay others then you key in the email address as you have here okay and then i would suggest you to go for manual setup okay then from here it will actually ask you what type of account is this so for me i will choose imap okay of course key in your password if you want to understand what's different between IMAP, POP3 is very simple. IMAPs allows you to sync whatever you've done in this device. Let's say you deleted an email in this device. So your email server will have the same reaction. While POP3 is more like push to this device only. So whatever you do in this device, it doesn't reflect back to your email server. So can you follow me so far? Okay, let's carry on um, next to it. Okay, here is the thing. Do you see this guy called server? Okay, this is the part that you need to go back to your webmail whereby you need to key in your incoming or outgoing server. Usually it's the same and it's quite um, common also. Um, let's say your email domain name is imjchong.com. So your incoming or outgoing server should be something at the front with mail or webmail or something. It depends on um, how your email hosting providers do the setup. Okay. It might be deferred that's why you need to log into your own webmail and look for this um call setup mail client then you look for these guys okay so let's carry on on log in here i'm going to change the server to mail.imgchung.com and next give it a while and it says that okay outgoing server okay just now it's incoming incoming means you receive the email okay outgoing means you send out the email so for this case uh, as per my email hosting is the same so i'm going to replace this 
SMT server, SMTP server, and next. And now you have the option in terms of sync, and this is I think quite straightforward. You just click next and just name it and something like that, and that's it. You have your email already. So let's double check. I have my email here. See, I have this guy. Okay, which I created just uh, you know just now. Okay, so this is on your phone. Okay, remember this is my phone. Huh? So using the same steps, you can actually um, log in to your own Gmail as well. Okay, let's say in the PC. But however, let's say you want to do it in your Microsoft Outlook. Let me show you. Okay, first open up your Outlook. Okay, and of course, um, you need to click the file. Then look for this guy. Um, it's called Add Account. Okay, you shall see this button Add Account. Okay, just click on the Add Account and again <laughs> as per just now the step is very straightforward also just paste it but for me i'm going to click the advanced option and let me set up my account manually why i want to do this because sometimes um the mail server and the so-called all the information might be different so i'm going to set up it manually okay query on and it should be asking you for password shortly but before that okay again it comes to this guy remember just now i also mentioned um click others but right now you have the choice to go for imac remember i mentioned also just now um imac is about sync word dual site which means whatever you are doing in microsoft outlook here in the email client in your pc it will reflect to your email server so when you delete here your email server will be deleted so it's very um it's extremely useful when you choose IMAP is imagine you have multiple devices uh, accessing the same email account you have your phone you have your laptop you have a PC so you don't want to you know I am use my phone to delete a few email then I come back to my PC like hey why is the email still here right so I would rather choose IMAP rather than pop so let's carry on with IMAP and now it's asking for password and yeah just key in connect and then we ask for a certain information okay actually um microsoft outlook is quite uh intelligent right now they can connect already so um if doesn't if not not connected and then it requires some advanced option let's say uh let me see yeah it's done already <laughs> maybe it's too smart huh? okay so you shall see um this is my account the third one uh, okay then this one is already have to this guy so microsoft outlook also will do a testing by sending yourself um the email so if you can see this guy here let me double click this is the email that i, I receive see demo do demo so which uh, when you receive this means uh, your Microsoft Outlook already connected to the web mail that you have. So that's all. Now you already learned how to actually um, log in your web mail, uh, your so-called internet email account that um, your IT provider share with you. Okay, as long as you can access to the web mail to obtain the the information in terms of the incoming and outgoing mail server and sometimes it will require to key in the port number so you just follow exactly on that part and i think pretty straightforward the rest so you can use it on your phone you can use it in your device like laptop using an email client like microsoft outlook or perhaps choose pc user if you like it especially in the windows 11 or windows 10 you can always use the built-in mail apps um, to to log in your email accounts as well so that's all for today and i hope this little tutorial give you uh, some tips and you know solve your problem in terms of log into your email account so if not if law okay please do me one big favor okay if you enjoy this video as well as you learn something or you feel like this is really helpful please do me a favor but click a like subscribe to my channel as well as put a ring so that you get notified next time i'm upward and share such a tutorial in terms of how to use um, utilizing all the tools um, 
to maximize efficiency in your life and productivity too. So again, my name is Jay Chung. Thanks for watching um, Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. Thank you so much and hope to see you again. And remember, every Wednesday, 8.15 p.m. I go live. And you can join me for any interesting topics. So if you want to know more, look for the video description below. And hope to see you again. Stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.